Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Sara Laumari, second year PhD candidate at Moulay Ismail University of Meknes. So today we will speak about detecting heart failure from chest x-ray images using deep learning algorithms. Before starting, I would like to uh, thank you for giving us the opportunity to speak here today. And also I would like to express my gratitude and appreciations to our ladies, professor, Raja al Wazani and Professor Suad al Harish for their help and their support as well. Now let's have a look at our outline. So we'll start with an introduction about heart disease, then we will see the context of our study, and uh, thereafter we'll introduce uh, the methodology followed up, next the results in discussion, and finally a conclusion. So actually the heart is an important organ in the human body. It is nothing more than a pump, which, uh, which pumps blood into the body. But if blood circulation in the body is inefficient, other organs can be affected. So the human being life depends entirely on the proper functioning of the heart. The term heart disease refers to a disease of the heart and its blood vessel system. In fact, we all do have someone close to us a loved one who has died of heart disease. So according to the, the World Heart Federation, 17 million global deaths are due to heart attacks. The death due to heart disease in many countries occur uh, due to work overload, mental stress, and many other problems. On the whole, it is found as primary reason behind death in adults. So worldwide, more than 23 million people suffer from the heart failure, making it a major public health issue. And according to the Centers for Disease Control and the Prevention, more than 6 million adults in the United States have heart failure. So heart failure is a condition that develops when heart muscle doesn't pump blood as well as it should. When this happens, uh, blood often backs up and fluid can build up in the lungs, causing shortness of breath. Most often heart failure is caused by another medical condition that damages your heart. This includes heart inflammation, high blood pressure, an irregular heartbeat, and so on. A heart failure may not cause symptoms right away, but uh, eventually you may feel tired and short of breath and the size fluid build up in your lower body. Heart failure can damage your liver or your kidneys. Artificial intelligence, AI, is a science devoted to making machines think and act like a human. Computer vision, machine, and deep learning are subclasses of AI that are commonly applied in medical field. Computer vision, uh, is a field of AI that enables computers uh, and systems to de derive meaningful information from digital images, videos, and other uh, visual inputs. Machine and deep learning make computers capable of performing tasks without need uh, for explicit programming. The field of uh, computer vision includes a set of uh, problems such as image classification, localization, image segmentation, and object detection. Our case, uh, our case is uh, the image classification. A convolutional neural network, CNR or CavNet, is a type of deep learning models for uh, processing data that has great patterns such as images. It has become dominant in various computer vision tasks, including radiology. So staining contains uh, different uh, types of layers, such as convolutional layer, pooling layer, and fully connected layer. So in fact, reading a chest uh, x-ray image, uh, image and, uh, and extracting the right information is a difficult task that requires time, doctors' experience and knowledge. But sometimes this leads to unwanted results and excessive medical costs of treatment provided to patients. Thus, we, de we develop an automatic system that can detect heart failure using chest X-ray images. We tested 12 senior architecture in order to find out the best performing one. Now we move on to the methodology we followed up. 
So here you will see the workflow, the data set used in the CNN models. So for the workflow, uh, we follow, we followed up is here. We started with uh, getting the data. We used uh, a data set named Chest X-ray 8. Uh, it is a database published by National Institutes of Health. It contains 112,120 X-ray images of uh, 14 disease, including uh, pneumonia, um, cardiom, gully, and so on. Actually, we consider it uh, cardiom, gully as a heart failure, and it can be defined as an oversized heart, which is a sign of another condition. Then we resized our images into 224, 224 pixels. Next, we split our data into three parts, which are training, validation, and test sets. Thereafter, we build our models. Uh, and the next, uh, we evaluate them. We train in them before, and then the models evaluation. And uh, finally, we tested the generated models. And here we have the uh, CNN models we used. So we have used 12 architecture and compiled their performance. We choose uh, there's 12 models in particular because we had the idea of giving real-time results we tried as much as possible to train the models that have less parameters and therefore less training time so after uh, we performed uh, the purposes the pre-processing on our database uh, unifying the input shape then we added uh, three layers to each CNN architecture, in particular, global average polling 2D uh, dropout and dense layer. So, uh, global polling layer is primarily um, can be used to reduce dimensionality to the feature maps output by uh, convolutional layer. Dropout is, uh, is used to avoid uh, the overfitting problem, and dense layer is used to classify, uh, classify images based on the previous output. So after presenting the methodology used in our experiment, in particular the workflow, dataset, and the CNN used, this table present the performance of uh, uh, the CNN models. So after evaluating the performance of a different model by using the same database, Actually, in terms of accuracy, in the, from the table, we observe that uh, exception model outperforms out the other with the, the other model with a classification accuracy rate of uh, 86%, uh, closely followed by efficient net B, B3 uh, with a classification rate of 85%. Uh, so exception and efficient B3 have uh, close results, but in terms of uh, number of parameters, exception has uh, 22 millions and efficient net B3 has 12 millions. Uh, so uh, efficient uh, net B3 uh, have a less parameter than exception than exception model, which make it applicable in real time. So here we have the predictions obtained by exception models since uh, he has uh, the highest uh, accuracy rate. So uh, here is an image labeled true, which is heart failure. The model's prediction confidence was uh, 94%. Here is an image labeled false, which is healthy in the model predictions. Uh, Prediction confidence was 99%. And here, uh, the images, the image labeled um, uh, as false and uh, the prediction score confidence is 72.6%. Uh, uh, and here, uh, an image uh, that has a label uh, true and the prediction score is 100%. So as a conclusion in our work, we used, uh, so we ca conducted a comparative study uh, using 12 architecture uh, to detect heart failure uh, using chest X-ray images. First, we performed the pre-processing on the chest uh, 
X-ray eight data sets to unify the input shape. Then we added three layers to each scene in architecture. In particular, global average pulling to the dropouts in dense layer. Subsequently, we performed our simulation of each architecture, and finally, exception model achieved the highest accuracy rates. So the model we have will help cardiologists to uh, gain. Uh, more time and uh, read the, the chest x-ray in less time, especially in critical uh, cases. So in fact, the limited amount of data in the medical field is a major obstacle to obtain a good generalizable model. So in future works, we look forward to use a larger data set in order to have a more performance model. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your attention.